What's going on, everybody? Key Master D4. You bringing you guys today, episode 13, Daily Dose. This week, or actually this last week, Activision was in the news for all the wrong reasons. Yes, that's right, folks. Activision was in the news for all the wrong reasons. Let's dive down into it, then we'll do a little analysis there at the end with my couch side analysis that I'm going to be doing here. So guys, so I mean, you know, as we all know, it's Activision and Blizzard, the giant conglomerate. They do what they do, they do what they want. They have a lot of hit games such as Warcraft, Starcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, Call of Duty, Bun um, Destiny, dot, dot, dot. We'll come back to that. Um, a lot of big games, though. A lot of huge games. Um, but lately, they've been, they've been making some mistakes. Um, you know, I mean, from, from announcements, from... You know, the next Diablo game is going to be a mobile title, which that's, let's just table that to the side for now. That could be a whole video all by itself. Um, them cutting Heroes of the Storm, which in my opinion was probably one of the better MOBAs out there. It just came, I mean, the problem is it came out too late. By the time it came out, it already has so much competition. That would have been really hard for them um, unless they had like decided to like really push um, Heroes of the Storm. So I think it would have been it would have been difficult for that to be a successful fran franchise, um, even with Blizzard on it. Um, but let's get into some. It's going to be some interesting news here, and then we'll kind of come back to it later. See what you know if we can make some sense of it. Um, so this week we had CFO Spencer Newman uh, leaving in order. To, well, this is uh, two weeks ago now, leaving to uh, go go work at Netflix, and then uh, Amrita uh, Ohuja who she was also the CFO um, since March. She had been in the company with more than eight years. Uh, she actually left to go work at the company Square, uh, the, bom the mobile payment company. Not Squarespace, not Square Enix. Square, the mobile pay the, like, the little you know, things put into your phones. It's kind of a big deal. Um, and then also this last October, um, Mike Mortame. Mortem, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I feel bad for these people because I am de totally destroying uh, their good last names. Um, but you know, I mean, it's it seems crazy, but I mean, it's really hard to say like how big of a impact game wise any of those people really are going to have. Um, but it's still it's a bit. I mean, maybe the the, the ex, you know, the old co-founder, um, him leaving. I could see because people probably looked up to him, and um, you know, I could see that being a big deal. Um, so that's kind of a you know that one. But as far as the CFOs go, it's not necessarily something that's bad for the gaming scene. Um, but it is something that's seen as you know. Un didn't you know? There's no stability within the, the higher up government or the higher up um, company. Um, and also, the last but not least, I believe. Let's see here. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it? Yeah. So Mike's going to be leaving um, in April, um, but he'll be no longer be a part of the company. as a filing. With the SEC that they had to make, which I think is absolutely insane, that your company is big enough to where you, have, you don't just you know you don't just get to fire people. You actually have to like call the government, and be like, hey, so we're gonna fire these guys. Why? Oh, business. <laughs> That's what's crazy to me. Um, but enough of the boring part of what's going on with Activision. Let's get into the the, the news that everybody's been talking about, and I kind of want to give my two cents on this, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, Bungie and Activision got a divorce. At the end of the day, that's what happened. Um, the short, simple tale of it: they had an agreement, they had a, a legal binding agreement saying, "Hey, we're gonna make you know ten years worth of games, or ten year, we'll be with you guys for ten years." Blah 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 blah. blah. Um, they made it nine, you know, not quite ten, um, but Bungie did manage to. Um, keep the he keep the rights to to uh, Destiny, and so that's that, that that's kind of where this gets really interesting. Um, Bungie kept the rights to Destiny, which is a really big deal. Um, 
and so it's really interesting to see like what what's Activision doing? I mean I mean, granted I liked Destiny. I know a lot of people who like Destiny. I mean I don't say play it all the time. But I thought it was a good game. Um and then for the, the I mean, I don't know what the deal was, but as far as Activision just letting it go, that is kind of a big deal. Um granted there have been I have heard reports and rumors that there was some stuff in the background that that Activision wasn't happy with Destiny's performance and da 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 you know, it's supposed to be better. Blah 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 blah. And yeah, okay, maybe that's what's going on, but it just it's a, still it seems weird to me. You know what I mean? It just seems like an odd, an odd trade because like literally nothing good, nothing good came out of it from my point of view for Activision. Um, you know, they lost a publisher, they lost a game, um, a successful game, they lost a really good publisher. There's just a lot of things that went wrong with that whole situation, and. Uh, yeah, it just seems weird that they would just let it go like that. Um, but no, I think this is I think this is a good thing for Bungie. I think it's a good thing for Activision because unfortunately I felt like um, Destiny was always the redheaded stepchild of that family. Um, it was like, well, we we love you when you do amazing things, but that's only when you do amazing things. Um, yeah, so it's say what you will about it, but I just I feel like. Um, Destiny kind of always seemed to get the, uh, the, the not fair side of the coin, um, on that whole thing, um, as far as that, that deal went, uh, I think they, c they could have done a lot more, um, it's definitely interesting to see, um, excited to see what happens with Bungie in the future, um, if they kind of go back to more of their roots or what's going to happen, by the way, this is the craziest dog ever, <laughs> thought I was safe on the crates. Apparently not. Um, and it just, it just seems weird, but like, I'm just trying to figure out like, what's going on with Activision? They were, they were literally just hitting it out of the park month after month, game after game. I mean, you had all the Call of Duties were dialed in. You had um, Warcraft. You had Heroes of the Storm. You had Destiny. You had uh, Starcraft. I mean, like, what what went wrong? I mean, because, like, right now, if you really look at it, uh, they have Overwatch, and they have Call of Duty. Because I don't remember the last time they made a um, StarCraft game. I don't remember the last time they made a WarCraft game. Um, I did hear good things about the, next ex the newest expansion for World of WarCraft. Um, the newest expansion for it, I should say, and it's like okay, great. World of Warcraft. That's God. I don't, I don't even know how long World of Warcraft is at this point. Um, but still, it's 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 things like that where it's like, what are you guys doing? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like everybody else, like we're about to have one of the biggest, in my opinion, probably one of the biggest console generations. In within the next three to four years, and you are stumbling right now on games that you've been making for a while now. It's not even like these are like new games. These are these are old, not old, but these are you know titles that you've had in your back pocket for a long time, and you were doing absolutely nothing with them. Nothing. Like, I'm sorry, like, if you had those franchises in your back pocket, you know, come out with a, a mobile, a mobile StarCraft game. You know how many people in Asia would freak the freak out about that? Oh my god, I think that would tear it up. That would absolutely wreck. You know, but it's just, it's just little moves that they're, we're just, they're just not making anymore. They're just not trying, they're not pushing the envelope. You know, they're Activision, we're too big to fail, we're, you know, everything's fine. It's like, well, you know, we're get, we're getting glimpses of, you know, behind the Iron Curtain here, and, and it looks like you guys might be messing up, you know, and it's just, I just don't get where they think uh, what they're doing right now is a good idea. Um, I, I just hope that they turn it around, I mean, because, I mean, you got Call of Duty, which is hands down, 
typically one of the top three games every year, no matter what, even when it's quote unquote an off year fiscal for Activision. Um, it's still one of the top three games sold um, every year. You have Overwatch, which is straight just killing it right now. I'm pretty sure it's probably going go in free to play uh, from everything that I've heard. We'll talk about that in, in a different video. I'd have to look back at the videos make sure I if actually you know what someone can leave me a comment down below if I've already talked about that about Overwatch going uh, free to play let me know down in the comments uh, but yeah I think Overwatch is gonna go free to play I think um, the Diablo mobile title I think is a mistake on their part but that's just me as a fan that's not me as as any kind of expert or phone friend or whatever you want to call me um, but no I, I I think that's a mistake and then, uh, I mean, Warcraft, the rumor is they're going to be coming out with a new game. Maybe. That's great. Cool. Let's see it. Um, but no, I think Activision Blizzard is messing up right now. And I think that they are are missing on a great opportunity to take advantage going into the next uh, hardware cycles for consoles. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys thought about the Bungie news. What you guys thought about everything that happened with Activision over the last couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, guys, so until next time, this has been the Game Master 4. We play games to make gains. Haters are gonna hate. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.